What's happening? Robert Trujillo here. Back in April, we launched a competition where we challenged high school and college marching bands from all across the country to incorporate Metallica songs into their shows. In Division 2 and 3 collegiate category, the winner is the Greyhound Sound Marching Band from Eastern New Mexico University. The winners of the collegiate competition Auburn University and Eastern New Mexico University. Congrats to them. Thank you. Eastern New Mexico University Marching Band has been chosen as the winner of For Who the Band Tolls Marching Band Competition. The announcement came after months of fan voting and a vote by Metallica themselves. Officials say the marching band will receive a customized package of musical equipment with a value of $40,000. Well, the master of puppets pulled all the right strings for the ENMU marching band as that ensemble won a music contest hosted by the iconic metal group Metallica. Hey guys, we're currently outside of the music building where we're going to go interview some of the students who are part of the Greyhound Sound and get their perspectives on winning the Metallica marching band contest. Come on! What was your initial reaction when you found out that the ENMU Greyhound Sound won the Metallica Marching Band Contest? Uh, yeah, so I, I was with uh, one of my friends who was in the band uh, at the time, and we, we like, knew it was coming. Uh, we had kind of been waiting on it all day. Um, so we watched the broadcast live, and we were, we were really excited. We all like, got in the group chat and like, messaged each other. We were like, congratulations, everybody. It was, it was a good time. I was overjoyed, uh, definitely overflowing with a lot of positive emotions. And then it was like, congratulations on winning your, your you know, section of the contest. And it was like, oh my god, we won. It was crazy. A lot of yelling. Um, as Parker mentioned previously, we were both together when we found out. And the whole car was a, a group of friends too. And so they were supporting us and all of us just kind of went wild. It was, it was surreal, you know. It was surreal knowing that we even made it to the top five um, because Metallica judged our band then. It was like they saw us as a band perform. It was very cool. I was really shocked, but I was really proud of us. We put in a lot of hard work, and I think we well deserved it. What do you think set the Greyhound sound apart from other Division II marching bands? Uh, so, uh, obviously, our Greyhound spirit, um, but uh, the big thing for us, I think, was the bass solo at the beginning. Uh, Nacho did a crazy good job on that. Um, he's killing it. He's got like the rocker vibe. So I think that was really effective. I think sound-wise, uh, we sounded like the most like metal. Um, you know, Metallica, during their, you know, music making, they were in their prime, like the biggest metal band ever. You know, and so I think we really did a good job of encapsulating that in our sound, even though we don't really have strings, uh, besides Nacho. Um, but Nacho knows Metallica probably better than anyone else in our marching band. And so it was really, he was very particular about how the band sounded, when we needed to come in and, you know, crescendo this and decrescendo that, and, you know, this needs to sound metal. I like to think that you know my appreciation for the band and like my knowledge of their past um, contributed a lot to how I wrote that opener and what I did on the bass guitar and I hope that they that the band Metallica um, noticed some of those things and realized like these guys are fans of Metallica you know and then and then even even more than that I think it was the size of our band it, um, we're kind of small relative to some of the other schools, but we have a big sound. And I was so proud of everyone because they just put, put their souls out on the field and it was just excellent. We just had such a great sound. How has winning this competition impacted you personally? Personally, it's been a little strange because people that I don't even know, you know, will be like, oh, we saw, we saw the ENMU show. Like, oh, you're the guy that played bass. I'm like, yeah, I am, you know, it's crazy. Um, and then further, it kind of validated my music outside of school because I, I, I play bass. I got into bass because of Metallica. And so it kind of showed me that that, well, that was valuable. Even further than just me personally, it actually benefited the school. And I think that's really cool. I mean, it made me really happy in the moment. I don't know. Um, I'm really proud. Uh, I work 
I worked a lot with the low brass. Uh, I am the euphonium section leader. Um, and, uh, but I also spent some time working with the trombones and tubas as well, uh, along with the other section leaders for the low brass. Uh, and I did a little bit of the like visual stuff for the show. Um, so I don't know, it was very rewarding. Um, and I am glad I was a part of it. Well, I have a huge crush on James Hetfield. And so knowing that, you know, the lead singer of Metallica watched our performance and watched me drop my flag and pick it up again and was like, yeah, like I like this one. It, it's definitely given me a huge ego boost. <laughs> Crazy. It took me a second to realize it, but I was like, oh my gosh, like there are like really famous people out there that have seen me dance like by myself. That was crazy. How do you think winning this competition will impact Ian Emil? It's definitely boosted morale a lot. I mean, we kind of walk around now with like a little chip on our shoulder, like, hey, like, we won. I think it kind of put us out there more than we already were. You know, we're from a small town, so we don't get a lot of recognition. And I think that brought a lot of attention to us, and it was really good for us. Uh, definitely it put us on the map. Uh, I was in Albuquerque this last week and had several people. Um, uh, I was with Nacho, the bass soloist, uh, and had a couple people recognize him. He's, like, famous now. Um, but they were like, oh, congratulations, guys. Like, that was an awesome show and stuff. So I think, um, you know, I, in the pa in past years, I've had students uh, who are, like, you know, prospective e &MU students be like, oh, I really love the marching band show. Like, I want to be in the marching band when I go to college. Uh, and I think this is, like, another really big step in that. Like, this is probably the most notable show that we've had in a long time. People will pay a little bit more attention to Eastern New Mexico now. Um, we have bigger schools around us, um, and they have great things going for them, don't get me wrong. But for such a small program, I think we do very well for ourselves. And I think that people will maybe consider coming here a little bit more, because we do cool things, and we have great faculty and great students. You know, we are getting noticed more. Um, you know, I'm from El Paso, Texas, and I am one of the only people from my high school that decided to come to ENMU. I'm the only one in the marching band that is from El Paso. And so I definitely think that sharing this with, you know, my old alma mater in El Paso is like, hey, like you should compete in this and also you should come to ENMU because we won. So clearly we're doing something right. Um, everybody here is, is awesome. There's plenty of music staff uh, at the college. Uh, to work with you even if you are a novice player or you've never played an instrument before you know like there will be work to be done but it's totally worth it and there's so many people who are willing to help you along the way so yeah, go Greyhounds. <laughs>